Turning back to first alert weather now, cold tonight, but there will be a slight warm up tomorrow. Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon is live in Westmont with your full forecast. Albert. Yeah, we're here at the Westmont Fire Department featuring our first responders today. Let me show you how this all kind of set up. About two months ago, uh, the fire chief, Chief Riley, reached out to us and said, could you come by, could CBS2 come by and talk to our staff about severe weather? And I said, we can do even better than that. So I reached out to our friend from the National Weather Service, this is Mike Bordeaux. Mike, good evening. Good evening, Albert, thank uh, you. And we are gonna team up. We're gonna help our friends here in the emergency management, EMS, fire, uh, learn a little bit about severe weather season as it's starting to crank up a little bit earlier than normal. Talk a little bit about the importance of severe weather safety, not just for first responders, but for folks at home. Well, this is the time of year to plan for severe weather safety. We've already had tornadoes not too far from us. Uh, we say plan, practice, monitor, act, PPMA. What's your plan gonna be? At home, at work, how are you gonna have multiple ways to get severe weather information? And then how are you gonna pay attention to the weather? Practice that plan anytime you get. This is a great time of year to do it before the storms come back. And then stay weather aware. Any day, any time of the year, we can have severe weather, so it's important to be weather aware. When the warnings come out, yeah. put that plan into action. So it's the National Weather Service, it's media, we are partners, it's our job to get the yes. forecast right, hopefully give you days in advance to know when something big's coming, but it's our first responders. Those are the ones that are gonna show up minutes if not seconds after those extreme weather events move on through, whether it be wind or hail or at times we can get tornadoes like we saw last year. Illinois led the country with the most tornadoes than any other state, more than Oklahoma, more than Texas, so we can get active around here. And that's something that we're seeing uh, more and more with a warming climate if we go back and look at the last several decades. Well, let's talk about a much quieter forecast. We'll start off with Doppler radar. There's a little bit of lake effect snow beginning to disappear in northwest Indiana. And as we get closer to sunset, all those little flurries will continue to fade away. It's 35 right now at O'Hare, 34 at Kinkakee, a freeze in Rensselaer at 32. And with a mostly clear sky here this evening, the temperature is going to continue to drop. We'll build some clouds, though, by tomorrow morning. But plan on an area-wide freeze right at 30 in Chicago, but 20s in the suburbs, even mid-20s in the western suburbs. A different change of wind for tomorrow. A west wind, gusty, up to 35 miles per hour. That's going to allow for a warm up. So we'll go with mid 40s at noon, 53 at 5 o'clock. And during the 4 o'clock hour, we'll have highs as mild as 59 Ottawa, 58 in Juliet, about 55 degrees at O'Hare. Another cold front, though, it arrives tomorrow late in the day. So the winds will shift out of the northwest. And there's the cool air, drier air, winds to get 40, down to 25 Wednesday night. Clouds build in 41 on Thursday, and there's another system coming in out of the west Thursday night to Friday, and that's going to allow for a chance of a rain snow mix. At least a chance of some light accumulating snow possible, but mainly up towards the north near the Wisconsin state line. We'll be dry Saturday, but it looks like we get back into a rainy weather pattern for Sunday and Monday. Huge shout out and a huge thank you to the firefighters, the EMS staff here at the Westmont Fire Department. We've had a great afternoon. We're getting ready for the big presentation for our first responders coming up at the bottom of the hour. Wow, that was great. They took the initiative to reach out and learn more. That's wonderful. Thank you, Albert.